Hello and welcome to the Ghosts video tutorial on basic usage of the GBX model importer for 3ds Max and GMAX. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, choose either 3ds Max or GMAX. Uh, GMAX is a freeware program that you can download for free. You can Google it for more information. 3ds Max is a licensed program. Um, to run the script, go to Max Script Run Script and locate the downloaded script. And you should see the graphical user interface here. Load a file, and you're going to want to navigate to a exported GBX model tag. You do this by opening up a GBX model tag in Gorilla and going to File Export Tag. It'll produce a text document like these. I'm going to import the ghost. So immediately you have a uh, selection option. You can choose what level of detail for the model you want. In this case I want the highest detailed super high model. The, or, there's only one region to choose from, the unnamed region, and I can choose either the damaged or the base permutation. The base is the normal one and the damaged is what it looks like after it's blown up. So usually you're going to want to import nodes and markers first. Um, these give me options over how big the nodes are, and biped bones as bones doesn't really matter because we're not importing a biped, you can just leave that checked. So once you import the nodes and markers, uh, you'll notice a bunch of spheres in your screen. The blue ones are the markers. They define where certain things are. Here's the driver, cockpit light, right hand elite, running lights, etc. The green ones are the nodes, and they're things like frame guns, frame right flat, frame hull. Uh, they define a hierarchy system, as you can see here, which uh, defines how the model is set up. Once you have your nodes in place, you don't necessarily need the markers, but you need the nodes. You can import vertex weights. You can check this box that was not previously checkable. And then you click import model, and as you, you don't need this anymore you see here is your ghost model. If you go to the modify mode, you'll notice the skin modifier on this. And what that does is it weights different vertices um, to different frames, different nodes. In this case, you see the five nodes here, frame hole, frame guns has these vertices weighted, left flap, right flap, and frame seat. What this means is if you move these frames, the vertices in this model, even though it's one single model, um, if you move, let's say, frame seat, if you move it back and forth, it'll deform those vertices based on those frames. So if I grab the left flap and I rotate it, you can see the, the flaps will rotate with the frame. And this is how you set up animations. One other thing that the um, the script sets up is the material library, and it sets up the shaders for the model. As you can see, there there are no bitmaps on this model right now, so you can go to the the material and set up its bitmap by going to this. And if you find the bitmap, the texture for the ghost, which is located here in my case and you go to show map and viewport, you'll notice that the texture is set up perfectly there for you with perfect texture coordinates and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to do the same for these shaders here just to fill in the last shaders. They all use the same bitmap but in the game they're you know, different levels of shininess, etc. So they're set up as separate shaders. These last three here are for the damaged permutation. They're what it looks like after it's been blown up. So there you have it. A ghost model in 3ds Max with all of its nodes, markers, and all the vertices are weighted. If you go ahead and you can move these flaps up and down. And same with the seat, etc.